Welcome back and this is the part two of the PowerPoint um, video that I've been creating. In the part one I showed you using Office 2010 which is again similar to Office 2007. How to create slides, how to change their layouts, how to put pictures, clip arts in there, how to use the outlining option where you can actually promote and demote move the buttons, move the lines up and down. We looked at the buttons uh, normal in the view section, normal slide sorter. I also realized that in my previous window video that these buttons were hidden. So right here on the bottom, this is what I meant when I said normal view, slide sorter view, and there is a slide show button. So as I do it, and you see the transition, which we also talked about, and we also looked at how to apply designs. So I can pick any design I like and it will change it. I can also put the background styles on it. So now going forward, I'm just going to go to the normal view right now. And on the second slide, uh, you might have seen it some PowerPoint presentation where instead of all of this information right here showing up all together, it can come one at a time. And that is known as animation. So if I want, I go to animation section and right there I can choose fly in. In the effect option, I can choose from bottom, from left, and you see how it's changing as I'm even not clicking on it. I'm just pointing to it and it's showing me what it will do. And then also you get to choose whether you want to do as one object all together, all at once, and one by one. So I'll just pick something. Now this one is done, so I'll just go to the slideshow animation to see what it looks like. So if you click the slideshow button from here, it will only show you this particular one. So I click it. Now you see the heading title comes up. Oh, I just did the wrong one. Down arrow, bullet one, bullet two, sub bullets came together, bullet three, change the slide. So this is known as, I'm gonna hit escape to get out of there, slide animation. So this is like under the animation section. You can choose that, you can do it up here too. I'll do it one more time, click here. Make sure your cursor is blinking, otherwise these options don't show up. So in there, I can choose wipe, shape, I can add effects if I want, uh, there are different animations that you can add to it. So there is a whole bunch of things that you can start doing with it. Adding them, removing them. And then on triggers, the option is to, how do you want to do it, like clicks and things like that. So it's a good thing to know because sometimes when you have like 10 points on a slide, you don't want to have all the 10 points show up at once because then people will start to read the points rather than listening to you. So you can have it show up one at a time. When you hit enter, one shows up. When you do it, the other one shows up. So that is known as animation. Let's just come back to slide one. Now the other thing you can do is you can actually rehearse the timings so you can actually set it up so that it automatically runs the PowerPoint for you so you can stand here and then you can go you know what I'm gonna spend I'm gonna say these things on this slide it's gonna take me so much time so you can actually do that so we'll practice that so under slideshow there is an option there called rehearse timings and the slideshow menu I click it now you see on the corner, left hand corner, I see the time going, one second, two seconds. I'm not going to do much right now, and I you click this arrow, it means go next. This thing comes up, let's do the next. Next, next, next. In actuality, you will choose how many minutes you want. Next, next. Now it's asking me, are you sure it's going to be 21 seconds for your whole PowerPoint? I can say yes. Now if I start my slideshow from beginning, you cannot see it, but 
I'm not going to touch anything and the slide is going to change on its own. So I'm just going to let it run for a few seconds. And there it's changing on its own based on the timing I set in rehearse timings. So I'm just going to hit escape. Now in the slide sorter view, you can see on the bottom it says 8 seconds, 6 seconds, 3 seconds. So say if I want to change individual ones, I just click on the slide and I just right click on it and usually there is an option here. It's not here, so I'll just go to transition. So this slide is selected number 2, transitions, and right here it says 6.42 seconds. I can reduce it, increase it, so I can choose what I want to do. You can also put sounds on transitions. I don't recommend it because it will make a joke out of your presentations a lot of time. You can also do the same thing when you're doing animations. You can actually have it such that you can put sounds on it, which again, I don't recommend. It just doesn't make any sense. And there's an option here to reorder animation, that is which line should come first and stuff like that. So you can play with that too. So the options are there for you to look at. So we looked at rehearse timings, which is you can set it up to do it automatically so that you don't have to hold it. You can also get remote controls for PowerPoint. So you can actually stand far away and there's a small remote control in your hand. And you can click, click, click to change the slide. So it's up to you as to what you want to do. Just I'm looking for my notes section. Okay. If you remember, right here on the bottom, I typed the word notes goes here. Just wanted to refresh that that's the part where you put notes for yourself or for other people to decide on it. And that is something you can have it in your hand. And I'm going to show you in a few minutes how to print it. The next thing I want to show you is what is known as the master slide. Um, if you want to make some changes, say for example, this is the title on all slides, right, in the same, the clip art picture. And if I wanted to change the font or the color of it, and if I had 20 slides, I'll have to go to individually and change the color. They have what is known as a master slide, and as the word implies, it's like the slide, which is the master of everything, where I go to make a change in one place and it will apply to everything. So I go to view and I'm looking for slide master right there. And here it shows me the master slides as to which one I want to edit. Usually they don't have too many of them. In this one, I can just click on this one. This is where my title goes. I can select it. And I'll change the color on it. So fonts color. I'll so I just changed this. Now I'll just close out of Slide Master. Everything's changed. I didn't want to do that. Let me just go back to View. I just found out where it is. So I'll go to view, slide master, and then I make sure I'm in the right place. So I think this is where my titles are sitting. So I'll just go to this slide master because this design has many different types of slide masters. So I'll just click here and I'll just do a right click on it. I'll go to font and I choose a color. So I'll say I'll do the red color. Click OK. Now that color is turned red. I'll hit close. Now you see all my slides have that color, but again, it didn't apply to everyone. They've made some changes in the 2010. I still use 2003 as I teach that. And so in that, it had what was a little more simpler because they only had maybe one or two slides. In this case, they have a master slide for every type of design that they have. So I'm just going to close out of here. So if you see, in this case, I've got one column. This one is with the picture, and this one is with the picture. So these two 
will have a same master slide but this is a separate master slide and this is a separate master slide however if you had this one the one column one if you had 20 of these and if you make a change to the master slide with that then it will affect everything so I'm just gonna go to again and I'm gonna try and make changes to this master slide view slide master and I'm gonna go to the one which is this guy and I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna right click on it if I want I can also change the color from there I can go to font and I choose the color click OK let's see so that's red close so now you see tiger is red and the penguins are red because I affected that particular master slide so they've just made a difference but understand what the master slide can do for you uh, in this case you only have four so it's not a big deal but if you have like 100 slides or 50 slides it makes your life easy when you want to change something so with that said let's look at the PowerPoint just one more time slideshow from beginning at any point if I wanted to do something like highlight something I can right click on that slide I go to pointer option and I can choose a pen and I can make some squigglies right click pointer option highlighter and I can even highlight stuff right click pointer option erase all ink on slide to remove it you can also use the colors that you like escape I don't want to discard it the last thing we in a way kind of look at is the printing part so when I go to file print by default it will print all slides like so one page will be one slide which can be a waste but you could choose what you want to print you could print just the slides you can print how many slides you want on a page like you want four slides on a page you want six slides on a page you want three slides on a page which will be much more appropriate six three or four you can also print notes page that is it will print the notes on the bottom you can also do the outline and you see the outline which is even better because you don't need the slides you just need the information so in printing you get all these options now remember this is office 2010 if you have a different version like 2007 or 2003 they will look different so that is the printing options and then you just hit the print button choose how many copies you want and you can print it so that is the file option in the printing file there is a save as which can allow you to do one more thing is if you're trying to email this to people and you don't know whether they'll have PowerPoint or not you can save this as a PowerPoint show so that when people get it it will start to do it uh, it will automatically launch PowerPoint and they can view it now in 2010 they also have the option to save it as a PDF so it will take the information and put it as a PDF so because this file is already saved as a PowerPoint name I have to go to file save as if I want I can choose it choose a different name give it a proper name and I can choose from the save as type option I can choose PowerPoint show I haven't tried the PowerPoint picture presentation I think it might do a similar thing so that's the option so that's it for uh, this I'm pretty much covered uh, just talking about the PowerPoint uh, show I just decided to add this part I've just added it after I finished doing the work uh, what I wanted to show you is the picture part say for example you wanted to have a slide with only pictures so that when you you might see this in emails so uh, what I can do is I'll go to the home slide 
new and I can even pick either a completely blank one or one with just the title and the blank. So I'll just click the blank one. Now on this slide I want to insert a picture. So I go to insert picture. Go to any sample picture. I'll pick the koala. Double click. It's added. Now I can reduce the size if I want. Move it around. Arrange it. So this is the way you can, you might have seen these emails from people where they actually have interesting pictures and stuff like that all added to it. So this is the way you do it. I'll just show you quickly what it will look like in a slideshow from beginning, enter, enter, enter. So that's what it will look like. And if you save this as a presentation show, it will automatically launch it. And so just make sure you put the rehearse timings on it so that it will automatically change after a few seconds so then people don't have to do anything. Word all the basic elements inserting slides by going to new slide option. You can change the layout of the slides. You can design it, put a different design on it. Transitions, choose a transition, hit apply. You can also do animations where you can have the words come up one at a time. Choose what you want. Slideshow. You can start the slideshow from beginning. Rehearse timing is to rehearse your timings so that it automatically changes. In the view option, you have view in normal. Slide sorter, so you can move the slides around, delete the slides. Notes page, which shows you the notes that you've created. You also have the option for slide master where you can make change in one place and then it affects everything. So just make sure you go to the right master. So this will affect the one column. This will affect the two columns. And then depending on where you click and select, that is what the effect will be had. You can go to file and print and choose what is it that you want to print. You want to do notes pages, full page slides, or you want to do handouts with two slides, three slides, four slides, however you feel to do it. Thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful.